start by taking this out <laughs> I'm about to look a little bit crazy do you find sometimes that these curls come out a little bit crazy okay yes it's early yes I would rather be in bed and the temptation to hit snooze was so strong but I'm proud of me we're up we are going to the gym. You guys know this is a gym morning routine. I feel like I finally got to a place where my little gym morning, we've got the routine down. It's taken me a while to get here. I feel like I have had such an up and down journey with the gym. When we first start out, I know what makes it really difficult is finding time in your day because it usually requires you to get up earlier than normal or take time out of your evening. You know what? The warmer days are coming, the lighter mornings are coming. If anything, now is the time to get yourself in a bit of habit. I am not normally one to uh, like do makeup or anything like that before the gym in the morning. I'm gonna go in with my all time favorite, this little drunk elephant bronzing drops. I just feel like matches my face a bit better to my body. I am such a believer in if there's like tiny little steps you can do for yourself um, in the morning before going to the gym just so that you feel more confident, like you feel better, just do them. I find what helps me get out of bed is knowing like exactly what those steps I'm doing. And like, honestly, I know I love really long, nice to watch morning routine, but that is not what I'm trying to do with this video. I'm, I'm trying to show you guys this very realistic, a more simple step morning that still makes time for all the things that are important to me. Okay, next step, making things as easy as possible for us. I have my gym outfit already laid out. Let's go get dressed. Mm. Oh, this just makes it so much easier because I could literally spend ages just trying to pick what to wear. These just make me feel like We've ended up going for an all black situation. This is the minimal sports breath from Gymshark. I love it. And I'm also just gonna layer on some joggers. I actually only just got this little Apple watch yesterday. I just think it'll be really interesting to start tracking things like my heart rate. Okay, so I feel like you guys know I, well, if you've watched any of my morning routines in the past, then you know I don't love having caffeine first thing. That's why like a lot of pre-workouts don't work for me. Having any form of caffeine too early in the morning. I know we all hear it from people like Andrew Huberman, how it spikes your cortisol, but I really feel it. I will be a lot more jittery and anxious early on. So I actually, I'm a huge believer in like when you're trying to get rid of a bad habit, not that like coffee first thing is a bad habit, by all means, life is short. If you want to have that coffee, have it. But I wanted to find something to replace it with that was good for me. And I was looking into like, what vitamins, what supplements should I be taking? Because I honestly find that whole industry so oversaturated. And I feel like we're told to take literally like 10 pills every single morning. So you guys know I love AG1. I've been taking AG1 for literally over a year now. A huge thank you to AG1 for sponsoring this part of the video. Okay, so what attracts me to this is just the ease of it. I of course think like you should be 
attempting to get all your nutrients from the diet that you eat. However, I don't see any harm in trying to bridge that nutrient gap by also giving your body a scoop of AG1 in the morning. That is literally all it is. This one scoop in here has 70 high quality vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients. Literally just this little scoop. And now I'm gonna add some water. So as you can see, this literally takes two minutes. It's the simplest little habit. It's probably the healthiest thing I do for myself every single day. Over the past year of taking this, I have noticed such a difference with afternoon slumps and just feeling like a lot sharper and switched on during the day. And I know this does help with like mental clarity. When you are giving your body like those vitamins, those minerals, you're gonna feel better. Also helps a ton with like your skin, your nails, your hair. Just when you start taking care of yourself from the inside, it does actually start to show on the outside. So if you guys are wanting to get started with AG1, they actually have given you guys an exclusive offer. So make sure you use my link. I'll always have it linked in the description bar. And it will get you five free travel packs and also a year's supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 with your first purchase. I'm gonna finish this now. Okay. I have a gym buddy this morning, like most mornings to be fair. And today we are doing back day. I've actually started doing a program with co-pilot fitness. If you watch my like workout routine, how to start working out video, then you know, but it's just been super handy for like not having to think of exercises. How are you, honey? I'm sleepy, <laughs> but good. Yeah, it's early. Look how cool. It like connects up to your phone. We're starting with barbell, but over rows. We're adding a little bit of weight. This was my first time doing a mic'd up gym session like with a camera and a mic so I really wanted to like talk through my workouts a bit more and didn't end up doing so. Here we are with a voiceover anyway because it's just easier. Ooh. Okay, we are doing lap cool down. This might be one of my favorites right now. I'm trying to get wider with this. Today we are doing pool day which is probably my current favorite. Girlies do not neglect upper body days. I know we love targeting legs, we love targeting the glutes, but you're gonna be so much stronger. And believe me, I should make leg day easier if you pay attention to your upper body as well. Pool day means that we are targeting our back mostly, also biceps and a bit of shoulders. So today I did five to six exercises, which took about an hour. Started with the bent over barbell row and then moved on to lat pull down. And as you can see now, I've moved on to dumbbell bent over row, single arm. It has taken me so long to feel comfortable in the gym and it hasn't been an overnight thing. I really wish I could tell my younger self to just like get out of my head a bit more because no one actually cares. Like no one's looking at you. Cable straight arm pull down. Don't get my use. Attachment. I've been sticking to this program and like these exercises for the past few weeks and man They've actually worked so well for me being on a program has been such a game changer It's so cool to see yourself get stronger and I just want to stress with like all these videos that I am not a pro. I'm just here sharing my fitness journey a few of you have been asking for more fitness content and I have been Loving making it. Ooh, we're done. One more. Okay, next we're doing dumbbell hammer curls Ooh, okay, we did it. How was your workout, Will? Good, thank you. Yeah, that was just over an hour in there. Yeah, good workout. Good morning. We are now home. The very first thing I like to do before like Will scoots off to work is I make us both a protein smoothie. I also like to have like a high protein breakfast. I'm gonna show you guys that recipe like after I've gotten ready for the day. But yeah, just to get something in, that's what I like to start with. I'm gonna show you guys my very quick, easy, 
protein smoothie recipe. I mean, I literally make this like all the time in my videos with trying to build muscle. There's, I know we hear all the time like how important it is to be getting your protein in and eat a high protein diet. But honestly, I kind of would feel like, oh, whatever, I'm eating enough, I'm fine. But I would look back at like what I had consumed for the day and it was like just some fruit in the morning. I'd catch myself almost feeling like I didn't have enough fuel to do a good workout the next day or like I'd be really sore the next day. I've got some frozen berries in there and add in some frozen blueberries. Let's add a banana, a nice handful of spinach, two scoops of protein. Also, I'm not about downing a smoothie that does not taste good, but it actually tastes good. Making a little laundry break. It is so true what they say. When you start working out, you have way more laundry. I'm gonna multitask here. This guy, it's my little LED face mask. I love it. Can you hear me? Yeah. If you've seen my morning routines before, kind of the point of them and what I'm usually going for is that they're aesthetic and you know, whatever that means. And that is the kind of feel from those videos that I'm trying to achieve because I know the algorithm's gonna reward it. I still like enjoy that content. I still enjoy making that content because I feel like it pushes me cinematically anyway, or like in a videography sense to produce a better video. So is this really weird that I'm talking to you with this mask on? Probably. <laughs> but I've had a real inkling and urge recently to just show up as I am a lot more online. And I mean, hence this absolute state of a clip that I'm getting right now. I live in a time where we're just like productivity obsessed and morning culture obsessed, like early morning culture. And I know I feed into that. Like I make 6 a.m. morning routines. The last thing I wanna do with my content is make you feel behind. Or like if you don't get up super early, then you've already wasted part of your day. When that's not true, I know that's not true, you know that's not true. Everyone's day routine structure is different. You can absolutely do everything you wanna do and wake up at 9 a.m. It's just how you fit it into your day. And then actually, by finding the time in the day that works best for you, you can put the right attitude into what you're doing, you can put more energy into what you're doing. So don't feel obliged to just copy someone's routine that you see online. Anyway, sorry about the little laundry rant. Yeah, I've just been heavily thinking about like the kind of messaging I wanna put out there on YouTube recently and what kind of stuff I like watching as well. Guys, my acne scars are doing so good. I know it might not look that great, but I know they're so much better. And I know red light therapy has been helping. I've been keeping up with my skin and me. I also dyed my hair, which I'm not gonna lie, that terrified me that my skin was gonna flare up because I've spoken about it before. I was pretty sure that's what caused it in the first place. But she's good, she's behaving. Okay, so what has actually changed for me to be consistent with gymming every single week, weightlifting? Because I've had a gym membership since I was like 18, but I've only been consistent for like the past year. When I swapped out the goal of like thinking about how many calories I burnt at the gym or trying to see if my butt looked any bigger to instead like, oh, how many more reps can I do on this exercise? Or, oh, how heavy can I actually go with this exercise? Making it fun. I stopped feeling like such imposter syndrome being in the gym. Cause I think a lot of us, especially women feel that going into the weight section, instead focusing on making it fun. I love doing it in the morning cause I know it puts me in a good mood for the day. And lifting weights, all of it, it's hard. It's not something that you're gonna see progress within a week overnight, but that's what makes it so satisfying. That gratifying feeling of like, you kept a promise to yourself and here are the results and there are no shortcuts. Discipline truly is the biggest form of self-care. It's pushing yourself through something momentarily is uncomfortable, something that is out of your comfort zone for something way bigger in the future. Anyway, this is a very ranty morning, but 
skincare is on so i'm gonna do my makeup for the day let's make ourselves feel good now that our skin is looking all glowy I don't know why, I'm like on my tippy toes, I just need to lower the freaking tripod. 5-3 problems. Okay, it's time for maybe my favorite part of the morning, breakfast. I have an exciting recipe. I, well, it's not that exciting, but it's a recipe that is new to me that I want to try. I've seen, I feel like um, cottage cheese has been everywhere, right? I don't know, it's been like kind of viral on TikTok. Adding cottage cheese to like all sorts of meals and what's amazing about cottage cheese is just how high it is in protein i definitely have been feeling just more hungry recently right i don't know how much cottage cheese to put in here Ooh, uh, okay, i'm gonna let that sit for a second and prepare the avocado Oh, are these ready? My mum was always good at teaching me to like fill the bottom. That's how you know it. And these are definitely not ready. We can definitely work with this. <laughs> I don't know if that's looking how it's meant to look at all. It's hard to tell. Okay, I don't know if this consistency is right. I'm scared I'm gonna overcook it, so. We're just working with this. Then adding just like a little bit of kimchi and I need to use it up. And then just a little handful of fruit on the side. Okay, honestly, this might taste horrendous. Let's see. Mmm, that's really good actually. I mean, if you like cottage cheese, like of course it makes sense that those two flavors really go. To um, put on some perfume this morning, I feel like even if I'm home alone by myself, putting on some perfume makes me feel ready for the day. Actually, that YSL one's too evening-y. This is one of my favorite day perfumes from Jo Malone. Peony and Blush Suede. Oh, this smells so fresh. I can't kill myself. I have this really weird habit. Like I love, love jewelry, but if I'm home, just like working from home, I don't know if it's like sensory problems. I, I only really like wearing jewelry when I'm out. I put it on to try look pretty for you guys, but we're taking it off. I feel like I always get asked about this though. This is like my necklace that I literally never take off. This is from Ana Luisa. I love it. So random, but this just arrived in the mail this morning and I had to show you guys. I got this from a little, I think it's like a little small business. I literally saw this on Instagram pop up and I was like, how cute. How cute. To add to my little mug collection. My mugs and hugs. How cute. I'm gonna make myself a little hot drink. I'm actually in the mood for a cup of tea. And then we'll jump into work. I've been so obsessed with this tea. This is Glow from Twinnings. I think I've literally spoken about it before but i love it don't get me wrong i love my morning coffee but i'm gonna have it after this that's literally the end of my morning i'm now gonna jump into work i really liked filming this chattier vlog version of a morning i love doing a little voiceover making these videos like really peaceful to watch but it was just fun to experiment with like a new type of style today is very much a work from home day um i'm a bit glammed up because i'm going out this evening otherwise normally I would be in joggers and no makeup. I have like the most here, there and everywhere brain. So I like to start my work days with planning out my like time block for the day, my list of tasks, then my top priorities, quick ticks, linking to my projects, like all of that stuff. And I use a Notion planner. I always have my Notion planner linked in the description bar if you wanna check it out. It is literally, what keeps me on track is like my second brain. Thank you for joining along on this little morning. It was fun having you here and I'll see you guys in the next one.